guilty or innocent? That innocent. All right, why? Why? Because first of all, he said that innocent. <laughs> why you got to be a off the top? Off the top. That innocent. Off the top. It's not every day that you get a like Andrew Tate that just wants my be the best versions of them, men and women. And then, of course, you have this matrix book. Yada, 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 yada. At the end of the day, why would a like that, with all this money, fame, acclamation, you know what I'm saying, stardom, go and do some dumb caught up on human trafficking? That's Are true. you serious? Is yeah. that the best you can do? I'd rather you this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, hiding out on taxes. <laughs> That's better than this raping bitch. Oh, Listen, no, hold on, hold on, brother, brother. How many times they gonna bleep his <laughs> Cuz was, I love this dude, man. You wanna know why? Cause he is ready. He is ready. Hey, and check out his boy in the background. Look at this. His boy just smiling like that's my guy right there. He going off. <laughs> Out of here. Go, 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 go. Petty fraud also combined with a sex element at 75 employees. He said that this guy needs to learn how to open up. <laughs> they just want to take you out as a guy. Now, you add on top of that, being the top G, the most Google man in America. Here's where I don't get. We talk so often about, you know, how intelligent that he is. He's, off he's obviously so smart. Why would you? knowing who you are, doing these things in the past, also want to be one of the world's most famous pe people in the world. And you would think someone as smart as him wouldn't want to do that, which leads me to believe what components in here are being uh, taken out of context mm -hmm. or being simplified in a way in order to paint <coughs> a specific narrative. Yeah. Well, and I wonder, like, lying to someone about a percentage isn't necessarily illegal. Verbally lying. Like, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Well, like if it's because I, I doubt these girls really got anything in writing, like a, a contract. Well, he's saying 50 percent, but then later on, he says that mm -hmm. he wasn't giving 50 percent. Mm -hmm. So that's like you sign up for such and such mm -hmm. banking sales. Blah, 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 and they say that, well, you're going to get 15 percent <laughs> commission mm -hmm. and you end up getting 6 percent commission. No, I, I'm with you. I'm just I'm just wondering if it's not in writing and it's not like a formally done contract. Is that illegal? I mean, here's the thing. So they have to prove that, you know, this is just a thing that they can enter into evidence to be allegedly. Right. But then if they have things in writing that says, oh, they were getting because mm -hmm. maybe maybe his maybe it changed from whatever he made this video. He was just like, you know what? Let's pay them taxes that are. And this is predates where he was actually running the business at scale. What would it take for you to see to say he's guilty? <laughs> trip, trip. For this be guilty, let me tell you something. Talk. This dude is he's ready to day going, bro. He's ready to perform. He's a performer. That's what he is. He's ready to day going to put on a show. You see how he cracked that next beer open? This brother is ready to put on a show. He's lit. He done smoked his J already. He done had a few drinks already. He probably got the dang on edible as well. Probably ate good. Probably had some good old loving earlier today. And he is ready to just have a good time. And guess what? It's nice out. You asked me a wonderful question. It's ladies around. Your show is big. I'm about to blow up. I'm about to blow up, bro. Talk. This is guilty. Uh-huh. Talk to him. I need to see a dungeon. Uh -huh. I need fingerprints. Whips and chain. I need DNA evidence. Oh. I need semen. Talk to him. On oh, the door oh. You don't need that. Oh, you need semen? Pause, bro. What you mean you need semen? Flag on the play. God dang it. Two flags on the play. Brrr. You talking about Navy SEAL? Semen? Huh? Yeah, hopefully you ain't talking about the the jizzes, the jizzes of the semen. You ain't talking about the, the, the shaft juice. That's not what you're talking about, are you? All right, great. You're not talking about man milk. That. I need semen on the doorknob that matches this and his brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not guilty. He didn't do it. Even if he did do it, I don't want to believe it. What's your why, question? Why do you think um, the internet is so quick to believe the women? And because that's why this world, this world is getting demasculated. But sorry, continue your question. What? <laughs> no, that's, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> why, why, why are they so quick to believe women because, over men? Because women are these delicate creatures uh -huh. that we must protect. Mm. But at the end of the day, women also have been at the, you know what I'm saying, at the very center of a lot of allegations to where you have to be proven 
innocent after you think think you're guilty. Like mm. mother Emmett Till and all like that. You know mm. what I'm saying? You have situations Talk where women are able to make crazy allegations and then they're proven guilty until you know what I'm saying, yada 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 takes five years later and then he's proven innocent. And then nothing happens to the female. Facts. That's what we talked about earlier, guys. That's what we talked about earlier. Nothing and then nothing happened to the female. But like I said before, it's happened so many times where a woman has not been believed. The person that has accosted her is still walking around. He still come to all the family cookouts. She see this dude often. It's got to a point where they can't even talk about it, talk about it around their friends and family anymore. So there's a reason why these women are being believed, man. I'm not for believing all women off top. I'm not. I'm for evidence. All right? I'm for evidence, man. That's what I'm for. So we have this culture to where the women is put on this high pedestal, make sure she's safe, make sure she's this in the court of law, and then we'll figure out what's up with later. That's why I think the internet is so quick to believe women nowadays. Now, that doesn't go to say that I don't think women deserve to have their claims heard and all that. I believe in, you know what I'm saying, equality all around. But at the end of the day, look at Stop. Stop getting out of which true. If you don't like the you ain't got to go and hem him up. If your baby daddy ain't you ain't got to hem up his whole family. You are burning the beep button up, bro. That beep button and bleep, 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 bleep. Bleep, if you ain't a bleep, then mother bleep, you better suck a bleep. What are you bleeping? So many bleeps. There's so many bleeps. You know what I'm saying? That's on you. Let me tell you something. Men, stop giving too much of your meat. Uh -uh. Money, energy, attention, time. I like that. Stop giving women too much of your meat. Money, energy, attention, and time. Brother. Bruh, let me tell you something, man. Hands down right there. Stop giving women too much of your meat. Money, energy, attention, and time. I told you this dude was ready. It's almost like he's a plant. I think he's a plant. Bro, we're going to be out on the beach recording people about this Andrew Tate situation. If you're around, pull up. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're around, pull up. We can definitely use your energy on the, ch on the show. I think he's a plant. He's a plant. I just figured it out. Ain't nobody there that's that ready. Like, come on, turn this on. Let's go. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because if somebody was to cut on the camera and I'm around and I'm a part of something and I'm, I'm like, if I'm in a mix and I know what's going on, Van is putting on a show. It's happened before many times, actually. I get on my, ner I get on my wife's nerves. Actually, she's been doing it too. I used to be the one that will be all in everybody's, everybody. Everybody, listen. Listen, I got something to say. Now it's my daggone wife. <laughs> Let me tell you another one like that, ladies. Ladies, please be more like her. She's fantastic. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. She's fantastic. I recognize this on <laughs> YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> ladies, let me tell you something. This one right here is fantastic. She speaks the truth. Uh, that interview, when, 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 uh, when uh, you had tape, right? Mm -hmm. And then some other girl was trying to say some <laughs> and then you kind of checked it. Now I was like, God damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One plus. Anyways, my name is Black and Wild. You know what I'm saying on all medias, sir. Shout out, Black and Wild. Shout out, Black and like, Wild. Black and Wild is what his name is. Trying to Black get lighter, and wild. you know what I'm saying? Lighter and brighter. Trying to get lighter. You ain't gonna do it out here, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone thinks he's innocent. I, I did see why. this one thing. I did see this one thing that it said like, wait, y'all talking about like he he has a form it? of like sex trafficking. It's like the lover boy. Like lover boy sex trafficking, but like he gets women bro, to like yeah. like him and then yeah, to fall in love with him and yeah. do whatever they want. But like, yeah. Do you think that makes the women victims? Um, not if they're doing it by their own. In a way, girl. they victimize themselves. Though. <laughs> you know? uh, How I so? Mean, Tell me more. Because like, bro, think about it. You are putting yourself out there. You're hitting him up. Like, he gives you an like, opportunity if you take it. Like, I guess you he got mad at Greece. Like, I don't know. Do, do, do you think and that's exactly what pearly things were like, whoa, somebody said what I was thinking. Somebody said what I've been saying. Tell me more. Tell me more, bro. Yeah. The women would have made as much money if they didn't sign up for what he was selling them and come over and do the webcam business. They probably wouldn't have made as much money no. No, on their own. So. I, no. I guess in a way he put them on. Them. Yeah. Think about it like that. Well, part of the argument is, is that it's human trafficking because it's fraudulent mm -hmm. because he was telling her he was going to pay him 50%, but he wasn't. But he made them he was paying him 30% right? and oh, okay. acting like it was taxes 
According, allegedly, according to everything in the court. I was gonna say, who said court, this? Yeah. You, you've been to Romania? His own, he has a video. He has a video where he's teaching how okay. to do what he did in his webcam business. And that video Wait, has been saying? going viral. On Hustlers University? I think it was on Hustlers yeah. University. Nah, uh, yeah, the young dude, no. He said, man, I watched that. I got a couple of girls I'm trying to run the same game on right now. I'm, I'm working the same game, working the same angles. I got a couple of people who are, you know, possibles, possibles. I got three possibles. Look at it like a game of spades. I got four in the possible. That's what I got. I got four who say yes. And I got probably two possibles. Put me down for four. I ain't going to put them two books down. Put me down for four. You know what I mean? So, yeah, them young as they know, they follow these. They, they follow this whole red pill thing because it helps them out. I mean, some of them are actually, well, thoroughly, most of them are thoroughly entertained. I will say that. The great majority of them are just entertained and they love seeing the back and forth between people who are extremely successful and gorgeous women. And they like seeing the back and forth of how a man would um, have so much confidence to, to speak, not necessarily up, but down on a woman who looks like the women who are who are constantly disrespected by a lot of people in these red pill conversations. And I say disrespected by how they are communicated with. And I come from a different school. I'm 44 years old. I know your young guys going to be like, man, you probably simping. Nah, I ain't simping. <laughs> Only way you can know that is by having a conversation with me. But I feel like that the, a lot of these women are disrespected by these guys and these young guys, they get a kick out of it. They love to watch it. They love to see it. And they would never take up for the gentlemen who are doing it. Universe. Yeah. <laughs> what is he saying? Then? He's saying within it exactly how he gets the girls to come over. Bro, to be honest, like, it's like, you obviously don't want to believe someone is, like, human trafficking, like, good person or not. Like, yeah. you're not going to, like... If someone says he's human like, trafficking, I'm not going to automatically believe that. Why? Like, I need to see, like, why? Why some sort of thing. Happen? No, why are people so quick to believe it? Because, because bro, it's social media, it's 2022. Yeah. Like, 2023. And also, what? okay, listen. That's crazy. Andrew Tate has, crazy. says a lot of crazy shit. That's right? why. He's number one hated. Yes. But, but like, yo, some of the things he says, bro, everyone has to admit it has some truth to it. I'm like, so, like. Camera right now. From the all right, so, so, like, I'm going to ask you guys. So, what evidence do you need to be like, he's guilty? I need actual to, evidence? Yeah, actual <laughs> evidence. Yeah. Like what? Like, give me an example. Like, what? Like, like it, gets, it gets posted on Rap and paperwork. World Star. Okay. Yeah. 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 I feel like the fraud and human trafficking, I would think, would be separate charges. I agree with you. And that's where I, I almost, it seems like they've added, like, human trafficking, I would imagine, like, 20 years ago, would just be, like, forcefully taking someone against their will, but it's like they've added in more things, where it almost seems like they've changed the meaning. I thought trafficking was against your will. Yeah. So like if you ask someone to come to where you're at, but they have the ability to be able to leave, mm -hmm. is that human trafficking? But there seems to be a fraud aspect mm -hmm. associated with it. Now the tax fraud is completely different. So there's the tax fraud, which could be a part of it. And then the, the fraud component within human trafficking. See this right here, this whole thing, like, we're trying to figure out the logistics of human trafficking. That's where the world is today. Our dumbasses are trying to figure out the logistics of human trafficking while still supporting the person who has knee-deep, balls-deep in human trafficking. We're trying to figure out, oh, do they sign up? Do they fill out an application? Oh, we thought that they, you know, somebody ran up behind them and, and put a bag over their head and threw them in the back of a van or something. That's what we thought. Like, come on, man. It's human trafficking. Who gives a damn about the logistics? Do y'all know that a lot of the women who are in strip clubs are human trafficked? Yeah. They out there and they just dancing and all that other stuff and making that money and, and doing whatever they do and delivering wings and drinks and bottles and whatever else. But some of them women are being human trafficked. They're, they're being trafficked and they're being pimped. And they might not get the, what, what percentage of, of the pot do they get after going out there and dancing in that daggone nasty club? It was a long time ago. I've been to the, I've been to the strip club probably in my 44 years. I've been to the strip club probably like three times, three times. And the reason why I went three times is because the first couple of times I felt like I was in the belly of the beast. But I was going because my big brother wanted to go. That was it. 
Um, the last time, I forgot why I went the last time. I think I was with my big brother again, actually. Um, but each time I felt uncomfortable. I felt like, and I think it's because I, I had taken parenting extremely serious, serious at an extremely young age. Like my wife and I, we had our daughter when we were um, 19. You know what I mean? And ever since then, we were like, we were hyper-focused on building and raising a family. So when I see these women in here who are some people's daughters and this is the job, this is the career that they decided to, to, to dedicate their lives to. I couldn't really have fun while being in the midst of that. I get it. You chose to be in this. You're making a lot of money. You're probably making five times more money than me, but at what cost is what I'm saying. I'm not judging them or anything like that, but I never felt comfortable as a man being in front of these women and just throwing my dollars out and because she got her coochie in my face. You know what I mean? I, that just wasn't me. It, it just wasn't. And it's not me. But this is clearly, you know, this world is a great majority of people out here who, because when, when, when strippers become extremely successful at what they do, they become Cardi B. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Why do you think the girls seem to be okay with their arrangement before and now they have they're so much forward? money? Like, yeah. why, are they coming, money. why are they coming forward now? It's money. Money. it's money. It's money. It's money. It's money. Uh, think about how many bro, bro. Think about how many bread. YouTubers do gold digging video money. videos and how many girls are gold diggers. If they find out that the girls were lying, what should be the girls' punishment? Jail time, yeah, just yeah. like men. Yeah. For example, what I mean. like for that, example, the girls are, oh, if the girls, if they find out that the girls were lying, bro, all the even. accusers. What should happen to the girl? Listen, if, oh, if a woman falsely people accuses people a man of rape, you should go to jail. Am I not I right? I kind of agree with Am that. Am I not right? Not, if not you even falsely kind of, accuse I somebody, you should go that. to jail. Absolutely, I agree, youngin. Absolutely, 1,000%, I agree. You should go to like, jail. Like, there's NFL players, like, uh, nah, the dude that was supposed to go to, Oakland. Sean Oakman, he was in jail for like 10 years after he was supposed, after being like a number one NFL drop, yeah. draft pro prospect. And, and the girl said, oh, I made it up. And it, yeah, exactly. The girl she said, made I up. made it up. And he lost his career. He, he got lost like, everything. Crazy. Why, don't, why don't you think society pushes or punishes women for lying on men? Um, if you really think, girls have, <laughs> girls can make it any way they want. I feel like if, girl, if a girl was to offer <laughs> to an ugly person, who the Saying no. Okay, okay that's a better way Emails to say Emails have something everyone it. wants and it's sex. Girls have it easy. They can be pretty. If a dude is ugly, the f go explain Lil Wayne. Huh? He's, he's ugly. He's, he's ugly as f. Rich. So then guys do have something that yes, women want. Okay. Yeah, but not so all guys. 18 year old guys <laughs> look at typically don't. You think all, all guys are out here exactly. I'm not talking about all guys, but I'm saying that you have value too. But all women have. What I'm that's, saying. And I agree with you. Exactly. I agree so with that's you. the thing. That's the so difference. So then it's incumbent on men not to be simps. Yeah, basically. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, exactly. That's the power right it's there. Exactly. You got it right here. Yeah, it's really, it's you got really it right here. in your head, though. Like, if you're not mentally strong, like... <laughs> runs the world <laughs> in front of weak men. Let's okay, get that, yes, let's yes. Get that oh. a being. Facts. Facts. Weak men fall to it. Weak men. And there are weak men all over the world and a lot of people want to be just like these weak men weak men man oh my gracious and these women are too Ooh. that's why yeah all women are not delicate but there's a whole bunch of meow power out there okay i'm only saying meow because that's what they kept on saying i mean playing as the um as the sound effect every single time they said the p word you know what i mean because there's a whole lot of power behind that you know what i mean Let's keep that that's, being. That's a fact. You're a weak man or you're a strong man that's a fact. at the end of the day. Absolutely. Andrew Tate, guilty or innocent? Guilty. Guilty. Tell me why. Not just any man gets accused of human trafficking and you know, walks away with that. Does the accusations mean guilty? No, because we need evidence, but... What's the evidence that you saw that points in the direction towards guilty? I would feel... I feel like people would say he's guilty because... Uh, I you can feel see why... or you know? I don't know. But I can see why people support him and don't support him. What, what makes you think he's guilty? Like, what evidence? There, there is no evidence, but I would say women don't support him, which is why it's heavily influenced to think that he's guilty. Okay. Well, I'm, just, I'm, going, I'm curious what you think. Because, like, you've probably seen some evidence that makes you think he might be more guilty, which is, which is fine. I'm just wondering why. Um, to be honest, truthfully, I... 
We we need the evidence before before we could accuse him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're unsure. I'm unsure. Yeah. Okay. Moment. Innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. Let me ask you another question. What evidence would you want to see before saying yes, guilty? Like, what would be the smoking gun? Uh, the paper trail. The paper trail of perhaps him. Text messages. Text messages. You know the people he was interacting with that collaborated in this. I'm guilty or Andrew Tate, guilty or innocent? I would say innocent. Why? From what I've been seeing, it's like it doesn't it doesn't really add up. Like um, they've had a couple of accusations before. Even the girls came up and said that he was innocent. So now I like I really feel like they're just trying to bring him down. I watch a lot of his videos and I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me why he somebody did. that powerful and that famous would have to do anything that heinous. What what evidence would have to come forward for you to think that he was guilty? I'd probably have to like watch a video of it happening. Okay. So like, if you didn't see a video of it actually happening. Of the traffic. I no, I wouldn't believe it. Like we we're, we're going through a like the feminism movement and everything like that. And he's icon defending masculinity and I don't think really anybody really likes that right now some of the girls who that was a good point that was a good point he is definitely defending masculinity to a point that everybody um, women who are especially feminists <laughs> hate him hate him and there's a lot of people who support feminists and um, and got some power and some money too and they decide to put, you know, put their power toward getting him taken up out of here. Not taken up out of here, but, you know, like pion pion. None of that. But still, just like Pearly was saying earlier, earlier, earlier in the video, it's Andrew Tate's fault that he is in this situation right now. And I would actually tell you, this is why Red Pill Nation, if anybody from Red Pill are listening to this, um, especially young people, this is why... A man who finds a woman, I mean, finds a wife, finds a good thing. Please stop allowing these men who are not in relationships, healthy relationships, to teach you about being in a healthy relationship. That's the problem. That's problem number one. We are bringing these heroes to our home who are not um, like really raising you up to have morals and integrity and character. In a certain way, when it comes to business, yes. But when it comes to being a, a human being, what? I get to, I run through tens of thousands of women yearly and get to fly on my jet and just smoke cigars wherever I want and spend all the money I want. And I got this and I got that and I got this and I got that, man. I'm a rock star. Just because you're a rock star don't mean that you're, 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 you have no sense. You have no common sense. A man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Had he been married and had he found a good wife, to, to run side by side with him in this, he wouldn't be in this mess. That's just me. For me, I use them to do other things, to move money or illegal things, documents, and I will never do that with you. Basically telling the girl, you're different from the others. I make them do the really illegal stuff. Again, they have it right here in the wiretaps, okay? The him admitting to this stuff. This is going to be used in court, and you're gonna have a hard time explaining this one away. What is this money laundering that you were doing? You can't go to the court and be like, hey, what happened was... <laughs> I mean, scratch your head and yeah. figure shit out. Okay, so now here comes the next part. This is, the, I think, the biggest one. Tate's angels, meaning the bottom of the two women... I mean, that's what they call them, bro. What y'all to say? This is what it reads. Charlie's? They don't want to say... Hey, man, listen. These are the women who work for him. The Glay Maxwells. The bottom is... So you have one hour and 10 minutes to disappear. And the victim says, but what did I do? You're down 20% four days since you posted. And she says, if Andrew looks to see you, if you posted TikToks, you won't even have time to pack. You're flying off the balcony straight away. Wow. So what does this conversation really mean? This is where this is important. It might not mean much to y'all because you're like, well, is when they're taking this in, con in conjunction with everything else, the fraud element involved, the coercion element, the aspect of like lying about what they're really going to be doing there, the fact that this girl who works for Tate is saying he she's going to be punching the girl 10 times when she gets there, that there's these threats of violence, the one saying like, Andrew Tate gets home, you're going to be flying off the balcony. Is that literally? Probably not. But there is some element there of threats of potential violence if you don't do what's needed. 
when you take that to court, and these are conversations that are happening in private, you understand? They're gonna take this into strong consideration when they're making their case. They're gonna be like, how do you explain this stuff? Oh, we're just joking. We're not gonna actually make her. Well, then why is the victim terrified? Oh, she's just lying and making, you think that's gonna really be a real defense in court? <clears throat> you know, the thing is, um, there's some people that are not gonna believe that. Of course. There's gonna be a lot of guys that are gonna be like, yeah, it ain't that bad, it ain't that bad. And you know why? Because they actually talk like that. They talk like that with their girls. The girls, I'm saying guys, but I'm talking, girls do the same shit. Oh my God, I, oh my God, I swear, I'm going to punch you in your mouth. And people talk like that on a regular basis. On a regular basis to people that they are in relationships with. I was astonished at the fact, the language that some people use with their friends or with their loved ones. Yeah, but it's just, I'm just talking. It's just this, it's just that. Whenever you talk... So Andrew previously, there was a lot of rumor going around why he was kicked out of Big Brother. Mm -hmm. And um, it was released that it would, it had something to do with um, him like attempting to hit like his girlfriend. But then the girlfriend came out and then said, oh no, this is like a role play thing that we did. It is possible that what we see right there is also a role play. That's a really good point. As well. It could be something that is a kink of his yeah. and that he's into. Because that video looked really bad. It did look really it bad. It looked real bad. It did. And then she's like, yeah, we're just playing the guys. If, if they have a substantial amount, the lawyer should be working to get a substantial amount of witnesses that say, oh, no, I have similar text messages with him, but it was like a thing that we do, mm -hmm. you know? But I will say that the likelihood of each of these points, to me, starts to paint him um, in a much worse light Every during every the WhatsApp conversations, I just the videos that have been coming out. My gut is just telling me there's going to be more information that comes out that puts a lot of this in context. Because mm. I feel like his whole career has been like taken out of context. Like he's an entertainer. I think as Red Pill does, Red Pill will continue to the Red Pill community will continue to cap and take up for Andrew Tate and hope for the best. Y'all will continue to hope for the best with Andrew Tate. Um, no, he put himself in this situation right here, man. We all, we all put ourselves in situations. And he's not above being wrong. He's not above it. It's his turn. Accept that. It's his turn to deal with his own BS, his own sugar honey iced tea. It is what it is. Hopefully the people who follow him closely, the young, young guys out there, Hopefully, y'all will learn your lesson from just watching him and just not go that way. If you're, if you're in the middle of, you got like 10 people, 10 young ladies in your brothel right now who work for you, and you're just this young pimp getting that internet money, setting young ladies up so that they can be able to perform on OnlyFans, and you get your money off top, and you dole out payments because they're doing it all under your umbrella that you finance with marketing and the platform and all that other stuff, Listen, let me tell you something. This lane of, of work in and of itself is demonic, is dark, is dangerous, is you're selling people. And that right there is not honorable.